Today we're gonna be giving these guys a second look. Let's try to do this right, because apparently I made a bunch of mistakes. All right guys, so after I uh, did this last video, yeah, that screw fell in. Uh, it turns out it did go opposite what the recommended way to assemble that battery pack, right? The biggest issue that you experienced was, was just that you didn't follow the recommended assembly procedure for building the battery kit. Also, another thing that people put in the comments is that maybe the fact that using, you know, reclaim recycled cells is that they have these little bumps here or the remains of the welding on the top right and so that will actually have an impact on the amount of contact of the surface area that the connection has in there so there's a good reason to try this with new cells either grind that off right or try new cells i just happen to have a box of new cells here Let's just try it with the new cells. All right, let's start by opening up a second one of these boxes. You have the interconnects, more interconnects, the little nuts, and then a bunch of these guys. This is what started everything. These are all brand new back, the Chinese back cells, right? We bought these for a dollar each, remember guys? We bought like 20,000 of these in one day. We cleaned out that cellar on eBay. Now let's put them to use. Here we go. So people recommended that I do one at a time. Assemble the cell with the caps at the same time first, and then you assemble the whole thing, right? So let's try that. I think you have to make sure that these, the male and the female pins, they're pointing the same way, right? So, and they're matching on the other side. Let's see if that works. Let's see if we have a good contact on these first ones. 3.79, 3.79. Okay, so now that I have three of these, right? They go from the inside, so they'll go in like this or they go in like this, but they can't at the same time slide both of them there. Oh, I guess you could just do that. I just pushed them together and they clipped on there. Bam! <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. It's done. Now let's check to see if they're all working. Working, 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 working. Hey, maybe it looks like they're all working. Oh, there's one right here that doesn't work. Oh, there's two. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Hey. You have to settle down. All right, so after uh, just a little bit of playing around, pushing the thing around, a couple of cells that were not making contact now are making contact. So look, this is, yeah, this is much straighter. I don't feel it being all crazy crooked and fighting itself anymore. Um, Let's plug it in and see if we can get this working. All right, another day, another place, but I'm still working on this little guy, right? I'm just gonna put these uh, balancing leads here so that we can check each individual cell voltage, right? And then I'm gonna charge it, discharge it, and then hopefully we can see with the thermal camera to see any other loose connections because they'll heat up more than the rest of them, right? So let's do that right now. All right, here's what we got here. I just plugged this, the two balance leads. Here's the voltage. There's a delta of 40, 43 millivolts, 20 millivolts. And then I just got a cheap 42 volt e-bike charger from eBay. And I'm just charging this battery right now. Unfortunately, I forgot the BMS boards uh, that I have at home. I want to see uh, about installing those here so that you can charge it with this, you know, 
cheapy 2 amp 42 volt e-bike charger uh, we could probably put like a couple of those maybe maybe up to three of those units in here and that way you can charge safely and um, you can discharge it also safely we'll see I'll try that out next but for right now there it is sorry guys i'm really really busy so i ran out of time to run the thermal tests on this battery but i didn't want to let another day go by as my video that i put out there struggling with this kid is getting a lot of hits and it's not really fair when i didn't follow the instructions so that's why i want to upload this video today even though i didn't finish doing all the tests that i wanted to get done plus Another reason to upload this video today is that these seem to work better with new cells and up until now we haven't had a source of cheap new cells, right? But I have someone that has offered me a whole pallet with 20,000 brand new cells. They are LG HB2. These are 30 amp continuous output cells, so they're good for e-boards they're good for e-bikes they're good for like scooters they're good for any high drain application you want and they are offering them to me for a dollar each right so the problem is that i don't have twenty thousand dollars to invest in these cells and even though i offered them to my mailing list i only saw interest for about a thousand of those cells so that just wasn't enough and i'm looking at having to pass on this but Here's one last chance. If you guys need cells, go to my mailing list here and then let me know if you are interested in how many you're interested. Because if we can do a group buy, then we can get these cells way better than what we did with these back cells. We were able to buy 20,000 of those a month ago. Pretty sure we can do the same with these ones because these are better quality. These are actual genuine LG uh 30 amp continuous cell so let me know guys if enough of you guys are interested then we can buy all 20,000. i can run out there tomorrow pick up the pallet bring it back and ship it to you guys of course unfortunately i cannot ship them outside the country because it costs like two three bucks to ship them so unless you want to pay two dollars for shipping on one dollar sales it just doesn't make sense right and until we can figure something out, I, is, this is just for people in these states, unfortunately. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know about the cells, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Let me show you something else. This, here's an 18650 battery. We were just talking about it. So this is what's inside the Tesla, right? And this yeah. battery inside the Tesla, you've seen them before. Yeah, I know what these are. Yeah, you know. But this one came out of a laptop, and, and this one here, that came out of a Dell. Uh, this is... This comes out of a power tool. So here's a drill and here's a laptop and there's a Tesla and what, what, they're all the same. Yeah. They're all identical. So we rip them out of all those devices and we got to figure out which one's bad, right? Because they're not all good. Yeah. So we figure out which one's bad by using these proprietary machines. So we turn these puppies on and what we're able to do, we're able to test each one of these. We're able to actually take one single cell, pop it in here like this, Rip them out of devices. Put the cells in here like this. Go ahead. Really? Try one. Ta da. So it's going to put a load on and off. It's going to check the milliamp hours, the ohms ratio. You understand how these things work. Yeah. Right here, it's going to grade it for us. And it's going to tell us is it a good cell? How many life cycles does it have left? Is it reusable? What grade is it? Then we identify that grade and we put it, if it's like a grade A cell, we're going to put that in like a high application where it needs to be able to, like a e-wheelchair, like a scooter, some, some sort of portable mobility application. If it's, if it's of a lower grade cell, solar power arrays where it's just trickling, but they're still usable. So all of these cells here, this takes about three hours to run through all of these. But this, this, this unit, we have 23 of these units. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. You can put them to do... Any, any type. Any type. It's just a bigger cell. Do you want a big cell? Do you want an 18650 cylindrical cell? Do you want a prismatic cell? 
Are you doing cars? Are you doing laptops? If I take one of these and it's a great A cell, it can, it can go in a, a, a vaping unit or it can go in a, an alarm system. It can go into whatever you want it to go into, but it shouldn't go on the ground and yeah. it shouldn't be smelted. Yeah. If it's working, use it. 